Hi there, Jay Tedeschi, Senior Technical Marketing Specialist at Autodesk here. Today we're going to take a look at design accelerators and calculators in Inventor Pro 2016. We're going to start with the Weld Calculator, this very, very powerful tool as it allows us and enables us to calculate weld strength based on real world criteria instead of asking the guy next to us who's been here for several years or just doing a best guess scenario. Uh, in this case we're going to start by defining uh, the bending force as well as the force arm itself and we'll do that by picking data right off the model. Uh, next we have to define the entire area, the entire welded area. So I was able to select a measurement right off the model and then multiply that by the number of faces that uh, are going to see this weld. So we end up with a total linear length of 360 millimeters. Now you'll note that when I do my initial calculation it comes up and shows us that this weld is not strong enough and over in the results it actually shows us what the minimum weld size should be which is 9.9 .9 millimeters. Um, so I gave it some leeway there and put in a 12 millimeter uh, weld. Now you'll note that the weld parameters are all added as a feature into the weldment environment. So when we go into welds for fillet weld that value is already pre-existing. Now let's go ahead and select all of the faces that are going to see this weld. I'll just pick through the part. I'll just keep using select other, select there, select that. Let's pick one more. Got it. Now we'll continue and pick the mating face. And voila, there are all of our welds. And we didn't have to guess. We didn't have to ask somebody who's done something like this before. The calculator lets us create this feature with confidence that it is going to be strong enough to be able to handle the load that it is going to see in normal use. Next up is uh, the bearing generator. Now with the bearing generator we're going to start by selecting a standard, in this case DIN. We'll select the type of bearing we want to place and now we'll do some picks right off the model itself. So for example we're looking for cylindrical, I'm sorry, spherical bearings that are, have outer diameters which are close to or exceed this cylindrical face diameter that have thicknesses that I'm specifying right now as well as uh, overall width of what I'm specifying right now. And as you can see, several come up in the selection tool. We'll select the one that's closest to what we want. It fits almost perfectly. And when we finish the selection, uh, the sectioning takes place again, the section tool that we used for visibility. Finally, let's take a look at the bolted connection generator. This is probably the most used generator calculator as uh, it's accessible not only in the design tab but also via content center when you're doing any type of uh, fastener selection. We'll start by picking our start plane, our termination plane, picking the existing hole. We told it to follow the pattern so it knows how many fasteners it's going to have to insert. And now we'll continue by selecting the standard itself which again is going to be DIN in this case. So we've selected the fastener that we're going to add in here. Now let's finish up by selecting both a lock washer and a nut. So again we'll uh, filter the results by looking only at DIN lock washers. We selected one. Now let's take a look at the nuts. Again set our standard to DIN. There we go. Scroll down. There it is right there. 6915. So we'll add that in. These can be saved as a frequently used configuration. In this case, however, we're going to go right to the calculator. We will uh, start by doing bolt diameter design. We enter in the number of bolts. Now we'll go to a number of bolts design. This is going to drive functionally. Essentially it's going to do our stress calculations and ensure that based on the materials that we're using and the number of fasteners that we have in the array that we will be able to stand up to the load that we are going to see. The calculate tool will tell us that. Just hit calculate and it looks like we are good. So let's hit OK and uh, place the fasteners. Now with that, I want to thank you for your time. I hope this was informative, and I look forward to speaking to you all again in the near future. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.